So the three pieces in the tech stack are going to be this Jovo, Facebook Messenger, BAM, and uh, Dialogflow. The reason for this application is so that way we can collect some quantitative market research, um, which we got during our time with Rev1 Ventures. Uh, we were in their customer learning lab today with Voice First, talking to them about one of our products. They're helping us develop, um, get more information from our customers, and one of the pieces of homework was to create a quantitative survey that we can use to collect more data from our customers uh, to see if the market that we're targeting is accurate. So we'll be creating some Facebook ads later tonight that will direct people towards our Facebook Messenger app. So to get started, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to initialize a new Jovo project. I'll go into projects, I'll make a new directory called Marta Bot for m Market Research. And now I'll cd into the bot market research folder. Nothing's inside of here, so make this bigger for all of you that are watching. Next thing that we're going to want to do is initialize the Jovo project. So I'll just go Jovo-V to show you that the current version we have of Jovo is 2.0.15. We'll make sure that we have the right version with Jovo update. Maybe it's upgrade. It might be upgrade. Hmm. It was update. Ah, uh, but we don't have a Jovo project here, so we can't. So we'll go Jovo um, new market research bot. While we don't need Jovo for this, we could do it with regular Node.js. What the benefit is of this is that if we're able to successfully make the Facebook Messenger app, which I'm hoping it'll work, but I'm not entirely sure if it will. I'm not 100% confident if it does work we can take this and then also deploy it on Amazon Alexa and Google Home and make our market research be able to span three platforms rather than just one. We now have the market research bot, so let's CD into that folder. Now let's try Jovo update. I doubt anything will happen because it isn't brand new, but they're already up to date. Alright, so we've done the first step. We've created the basic Jovo application which we can confirm by running Jovo run and then as soon as that's ready we just hit this little dot guy to open up our debugger and now we can test the launch intent and we can see that we get a response and in our terminal we get the response logs so that's all good to go next step add a launch that's already done too because launch is included but I will customize it a bit just to make sure that we're not um, we're not getting the basic default Jovo project. We do want it to be specialized for the purposes of what we're doing today, which is to collect market research. To change the launch response, it's as easy as going into launch. Um, we don't need this hello world intent, so we'll get rid of that and then we'll put this, paste that, and then in here I'll say welcome to the voice first market research, well I guess it's quantitative, to the voice first quantitative, quantitative market research uh, questionnaire, survey, I prefer survey, survey. And then uh, I'll just, this is the end for now. Next step is to add in more questions. We'll delete the second part and we'll, we'll make it a dot tell instead of a dot ask. That way um, the conversation just ends here. So let's restart the Jovo server and make sure that our new launch message has been updated close out of you we'll run you again we can see that our response was updated so we've confirmed launch and sense good to go next thing I'm gonna do is create the dialogue flow project so let's go to our console for dialogue flow and let's go create a new agent 
sorry, I've got a little bit of cold. I'm going to try not to sniffle as much. Let me throw on some Vicks real quick. There we go. A little bit of Vapo Rub. Okay. So this new agent's going to be called, same as what our project is, Market Research Bot. Market Research Bot. Create this in Dialogflow. All right. Setting up the dialog flow agent. All right. So the reason we're going with dialog flow. Okay, it finished. Cool. The reason we're going with dialog flow is down here in the integrations tab. We've got Facebook Messenger, which makes it really easy for us to go ahead and turn our dialog flow agent into a Facebook Messenger bot. So, next step is to connect Dialogflow with our Jovo webhook, which I'll do first by running Jovo build to build out the language model that we have already. And now that that's done, we can go to little gear guy, export and import tab, restore from zip, open up my file explorer, and let's find where we created that project. Where's bot, bot, bam inside of the platforms folder Google action we find our intents and we zip these bad boys up doesn't matter the name drag and drop all caps restore and restore the project alright now we should be able to test this let's just say launch or hello Okay, I don't know how to get, I just want, I really just want to give me the, well I guess hello world, I don't think that intent exists anymore. We want default welcome, what are the phrases we can use to trigger this, I've never actually tried, let's just add in a hello, that way I can type hello and see what the response is. Uh, okay. Let's uh, delete this guy. You go into the garbage. Cool. Now give me hello, please. Not available. Not available. Okay. Well, this is frustrating. Um, maybe I just can't see the response in here. In which case, I guess, let's see what uh, Google Assistant gives us. I haven't actually created the action on Google yet, so I'm curious what this guy opens when it finally loads. Looks like it spun up a new project mar called Market Research Bot. That's pretty cool. Talk. Give me a... Oh, haha. -ha. Maybe it didn't give me a response because my Jova webhook wasn't running. No. Jova run. Let's see if it works over here once it's actually running. Cool, now it's running. Ah! User error. That was my bad. Okay, so dialogue flow is now up and running. Cool dialogue flow project is created. Next step is Facebook Messenger bot. So to do that, we'll go down to integrations and turn on Facebook Messenger. So it gives me some nice step-by-step -step instructions of all I need to do. So let's uh, first go to and get our Facebook access token and insert it into the field below. One of the things that frustrates me about access tokens is I'm not supposed to share them with you in this live stream stuff. Um, let me give you a little bit of warp vision. I wonder if I can pause. I guess there's no pausing of a stream, so I can't really block that out. Ay ay ay. Um, well, let's just see what happens. Facebook page access token. Facebook page access token. Where do I go to find that? Uh, okay. Yeah, getting getting the page access tokens. How do I get that? Uh, okay. I feel like it should just show it in Facebook for developers, so I'll go over there. Ooh, Facebook 2019. What are my apps? Uh, let's add an app. Oh no, there was already Voice Dry Cleaner. We'll make this new app called VoiceDryCleaner.com. Dot com. 
and this will be the contact email sure I'm not a robot I promise what is it that we need we want the uh, verify token so well Facebook page access token where is Facebook page access token I'll probably delete this project as soon as I'm done streaming that way I can make sure I'm not sharing anything that's important roles maybe settings uh, da, da, da. basic thanks is it the app ID get your Facebook page access token Facebook page access token Facebook page access token okay back to Google how to get Facebook page access token go to the graph API Explorer choose your app from the drop-down get access token okay graph API Explorer graph API Explorer All right, access token. Cool. So we got this guy. Let's go back here. Cool. Um, what's step number two? Create your own verify key. Can be any string. All right. So the verify token can be any string. This will be um, voice first, all caps. Click start below and use a callback URL and verify token to create an event in the Facebook Messenger webhook setup. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's try to figure out how to add a Facebook, what was it again? Facebook Messenger webhook setup. All right, all right, all right, all right. Messenger setup, maybe webhook? We'll go to Messenger first. All right, um, let's select a page, and we'll make this one with voice first. I'll give it some permissions, just for voice first. Uh, yep, that's fine. Sure. I guess that's cool. Cool, so now we're all linked up. What? Page access token. Page access token. Are these different, or are they the same? I think they're the same. I guess we'll copy it and try. Stop. We'll paste this guy in there and start again, just to be sure. Cool, so webhooks, we do want to set up webhooks. Callback URL, copy the callback URL, copied, paste you up here, and then copy our verify token. Remember, it's just any token, so not super critical. Uh, is that it? I guess subscriptions, postbacks. I wonder if Jovo has a tutorial on this. I doubt they do, but it's good to check. Mess. Messenger. Does not look like we have any Facebook Messenger. Oh well. Maybe someday. We'll go message reads and deliveries. Just subscribe to all this stuff maybe learn more can tell me something that's useful oh yeah I just wanna know when a message is received so I think just messages we'll read through a couple more of those to make sure I don't want anything else okay account linking check updates message delivered I really don't care if a message is delivered or an echo yeah I don't think I really care about any of that except receiving messages so that's the only one I'll check and then we'll verify and save some water all right welcome to the Facebook Messenger platform we've got a webhook set up um, is there a way for me to test this
Alright, so in order to use the Messenger platform, our app needs to be approved. In order to do that, I guess, enables your app to send and receive messages using a Facebook page. Sure. Um, this app grants access to the user's gender. I don't think we want gender or locale or time zone. Can I just turn this on? Uh, we need a privacy policy URL. So let's go back to basic settings like it says. Take me over there. Let's see if we can find a privacy policy we already have. Did it want privacy policy or terms of service? We'll give them both. Just random. These are demos that we like to use when companies want the info. Um, privacy policy. And now we want terms of service. Terms of service. Aye, aye, aye. Why does that always go down? We've been having some issues with our deploys recently. We don't need you open anymore. Let's put terms of service. Can we flip you on? Uh, privacy policy. We have it, but we didn't save the changes. That was my bad again. Flip you on. Uh, I think it's business. Messenger bots for business. Confirm. Okay, is Facebook Messenger set up yet? How do I get you all set up? Because this one has a green check, this one does not. That's complete. Under webhooks, uh, subscribe a page, we'll subscribe to voice first. I think we have now two apps subscribed to voice first, which is not the best. Um, we'll we'll see what happens. Built-in NLP parses messages, messages to help detect meaning to automatically integrate NLP. Okay, sure. Yeah, I don't think we need it. Your app needs to prove for send API. Okay, pages messaging. So we do need this. We'll add it to submission. Enable you. I don't think I need to check you. What's next? Okay, page messaging. Complete the details. We need an app icon, and we need a business use set. Okay. We'll go to settings. 1024 by 1024. 1024 by 1024. Where can I find a good logo? Let's go to photos. Google Photos, proving one of the inevitable trends, access is greater than ownership. Let's take you, voice dry cleaner, download you, cool, and then we'll go to imagery sizer. The size they say they want is 1024 by 1024. See right now I'm really trying to do some fast prototyping, and there are all these regulations. So I'm just trying to get this up so I can test it. 1024 by 10, 1024. Resize this image. Download it for me. Save image as. Sure, that's good. Whatever you want. Can I drag and drop? No, no drag and drop. <sighs> Not cool. I think Don sent me one with here it is cool she did send me one so we'll go back over here we'll upload this new guy with a transparent background same dimensions convert it download it delete this save image got it cool back to you attempt number two better cool and um, save the changes what's the next part Business use, business use. Uh, support my own business. Easy. Alright, we should be good now. Let's go back in here and see what's wrong again. Because we still don't have the green check mark. Alright, what else do we need?
complete each of the items above. Okay, complete the details for this item. What are the details? Uh, what? Please enter examples below for our reviewers to test in the primary language of your messenger experience. So command hello. Um, welcome to our survey. Sure, I, I don't really know what they want. I really am not sure what's going on here. I just wanted to quickly spin up a Facebook Messenger bot. Whatever. I'm just submitting and clicking buttons. Okay. It may also require business verification. Why do we still have a gray arrow? Are we going to have to wait for this review? Oh my goodness. Any alerts? Looks like we got an alert. This is starting to get frustrating. I just wanted to quickly test a messenger bot. Is there a way for me to ping? Uh, voice drycleaner.com? Like, how to test Facebook messenger bot. stab out functions, functions, do stuff. I just want to test it. Open messenger and send a f message to the Facebook page associated with the bot. Okay, so I have to send a message to... F uh, we'll go to Facebook. And we'll send a message... Could I have sent a message to voice first here? Yeah, send a message to these guys. Can I close this side window? Okay. Hello? What are you going to say? Hey, welcome. Cool. Okay, so we did get a response. Let's make sure that this is actively pinging here. Hello? And this, this guy is also responding. So, um, we have two bots that are currently responding in the same chat. For now, I'm going to ignore that. Uh, next step is to just start adding questions. So, RJ sent me uh, some questions. I'm not sure if this is stream appropriate, what RJ has sent me. So, I'll check it on my phone, and I'll just tell you guys what some of the questions are. Oh, cool. It also popped it up on my phone. We'll go home. Go to Slack. First question is, what is your age? Simple. Welcome to the Voicesters Quantitative Survey. Um, next question is, what is your age? I don't think we can have follow-ups in here, which may prove challenging for Facebook Messenger. Um, Let's go ahead and try it by copying, well, let's just get rid of my name is age intent. Uh, let age equal this dot dollar sign inputs dot um, age dot value. Your age is, and then we'll put age in there. Your age is that. Okay. Let's see if we can chain these together. First thing we'll need to do is open up our language model and redefine this a little bit. Copy the exact intent name from over here and paste it in our language model. So the reason we're in the language model is so that way the assistant actually has some phrases to understand what it's looking for to trigger this intent. So yeah, we put this intent on our back end, but 
Dialogflow needs to know in the language model what exactly a customer is going to say to give us their age. And that's going to be a number. Um, so I'm just going to change all of these to number real quick. Bam, bam, bam. So we've got number, my, instead of name, my age. Why did I put number in there? These should all be age. Age. Cool, so we've got an age. I am age. Um, I am age years old. I am age. That will be good for our purposes today. So we'll end this Jovo build. Cool. We built, go back to dialog flow to update our language model by clicking Gearman, export import, restore from a zip file, and we delete this old zip guy because we don't need him anymore. And we just build a new one. So it's now updated our language model with everything that we need. Um, we should be able to test this in Facebook Messenger if I say hello. Oh, Jovo server is not running. Uh oh. But our other bot should still respond. I'm surprised it is not. Ah, there it is. This is the the bot I don't really care about. Let's say hello again, and we should get two bot responses. Uh oh. Cannot find route hello world intent in your handler function. Um, why are you looking for hello world intent? That's my question. Hmm. Maybe because of this guy? We'll delete you. Uh, yeah, just delete you. Save. Close. Open. All right, let's try you again. Hello. Another error, another error. Okay, let's take a step back. Obviously we hit some sort of error and let's try a hello. And it looks like we're still getting the same. So maybe over here in intents. I don't know why it put us uh, hello world intent in here. Uh, let's drove a build again. Now that I've deleted that from the language model, gear guy, export import. Looping the same stuff, playing iterative games. Just practice. Cool. Let's try you again. Hello. Make sure to learn from our mistakes. Hey, successful response. Uh, I'm not sure why you said your age is. Hmm, maybe because we don't have anything else besides that? Uh, maybe that's why there's a default hello world intent, just so that we can get something that's not launched. Alright, so if I type 15, well... Alright, so right now, this is looking for Amazon.us.firstName and at sys.given name. So I'm going to quickly put this guy back. Hello, we'll trigger the hello world intent, and let's quickly put in... We're going to undo the changes that we just undid, uh, which seems a little impractical, but I'm learning from my lessons really fast. This is the first time, I guess second time, we've tried to use Jovo to create one of these. Maybe I should have used my old Jovo code as a base. Uh, so now we'll put this stuff in there. Bam. Bam. Ask. I don't need a reprompt because we're doing Facebook Messenger. This dot to intent. Nope. 
Yep. Okay. Save that. Repeat the same process of build. Cool. We've got a build. Maybe I didn't need to publish. Documentation there for Facebook Messenger was very confusing. I'm not sure if they have thought of the use case, but I didn't really understand what it is I had to put in, what I didn't have to put in, what the next steps were. Uh, maybe they expect a lot from developers, and maybe I'm just a dumb developer. Uh, but help my dumb butt out. Okay, so now we do have a hello world intent. We just gotta make sure we're running. Fast iterative loop. We were able to fully add in a new intent, update our language model, redeploy the language model, and now we're testing again. We'll run hello. There we go. What is my age? My my age is 53 my age is blank oh yeah so here's another problem is that uh, age is defined as amazon.us.first name and at sys.given name dialogue flow is the only one we really care about uh, but I'll, I'll show everybody how to do both so there are the dialogue flow system entities which I already have saved but you could just google system entities and then I'm just gonna find number numbers at sys.number so we want a sys number and then to show you uh, Amazon Alexa built in slots now I want to look up numbers in here too Maybe I could just, yeah, so after this I'll probably just go back into our existing Facebook Messenger bot and change it around to fit the needs of this survey. We want just a regular number. So we'll put in a number in here. Save that. Rebuild. I'm just going to save myself a step and go ahead and run right here head back loop again with gear guy export put you in restore My age is 22, and now we've got it. So we successfully were able to retrieve that answer, and we're using um, our backend code to do that. So from here, you could just ask more questions. Like we say our age is 22, so the next step might be asking, uh, let me see what the next question is on here. This is the end. This is the last thing I'm going to talk about. What is your gender? So at the end of this, your age is that what is your gender so then we might define the language model for this accepting terms like um, non-defining male female transgender um, I define as male and I consider myself pretty traditional so I don't know all the terms that we could use and all the different options that we might define which is I guess check my bias I need to understand more about what other people do but I'm doing my best so if, if you're watching this and you want to let me know what all the gender options are I could be including and should be including please do let me know like I know we've got male and I know that we've got female those are pretty binary binary hat female and um, prefer not to say or maybe undecided Um, non-binary I think is another term non-binary that's kind of the end uh, that was what I wanted to show because we now have a Facebook bot that is working with Jovo so the, the full text stack here that we're using to say it again is Facebook Messenger we're using dialogue flow Facebook Messenger is to actually interact this is our front end that interacts with our customers 
The middleware, which translates, does all of our natural language processing and hosts our language model, is Dialogflow with all of these integrations. We use the Facebook Messenger integration. And now the framework that we're using for our code is Jovo. Jovo, the best platform for voice app development. Really easy to set up, really easy to get going. Took, uh, I don't know how long this stream's been going on for, but it seemed to be pretty fast, so I hope this helps you out. If you need to build a Facebook Messenger bot, here's kind of everything you need to know. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to go ahead and start deleting these bots because you guys saw my app ID and stuff, and uh, I don't think you're supposed to see that. I think that's uh, Cybersecurity 101. Cool. Thanks for joining me. I hope you guys have a beautiful rest of the day. Take 10 deep breaths and look out a window, get some natural light. Talk to another human being, uh, and please excuse any errors in the translation or closed captions that may have been created by the creative liberty of the artificial intelligence that use natural language processing to do the translation. Namaste.